Determine track location. If replacing the tracks, it is important to decide which track position will be used for the install. Track location A. This is the standard location. This means the tracks will be installed against the inside wall of the box. Track location B. This means the track will be installed away from the inside wall due to uneven walls or interferences such as E-Track. Track location C. This means the track will be installed flush to the door opening. This is due to sizing or obstructions. To improve accuracy, measure 10 inches out from the end point and mark it using a pencil. Then measure from the other point to the pencil mark made and add the total. For example, the original mark is 10 inches. The measurement to the mark is 75 inches. Add the two measurements together, 10 plus 75, gives you an opening width of 85 inches. When measuring the corner post, make sure the tape measure is against the flat section of the track. Make sure to add 1 8 to the measurement to include the track thickness. Measure the wall to wall. Check your horizontal measurement accuracy. Example, the opening width is 85 inches, and your corner posts are 2 inches. As there are 2 corner posts, you must add 85 plus 2 plus 2. This gives you a total of 89 inches. Measure the opening height. Measure the header. When measuring the header, make sure there is no obstructions that will interfere with the installation of the torsion spring. Measure the floor to ceiling. Make sure to measure to the lowest point of the ceiling, such as the bottom of the roof box. Check your vertical measurement accuracy. Example, opening height is 90 inches, header height is 6 inches. Your floor to ceiling should equal 96 inches. Important, make sure your measurements add up. If they don't add up, explain why in the special notes section of the order form.